with meteorologist Christina Reese. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. The sunshine returned after dealing with some lingering showers early this morning, and the clear conditions will stick around for tonight and for your Sunday. We're looking at plenty of sunshine, and that'll help warm us up a little bit more above average for this time of year. But while we enjoy the dry conditions for now, we're already looking ahead to our next rain chance, and I'll give you a look at that with Future Track in just a moment. Currently in the capital city, nothing but sunshine, but Right around where we should be for this time of year, just a few degrees above average as we're sitting at 76 degrees, feeling much more comfortable as well with dew points in the low 50s. It's not muggy out there by any means, and we picked up just shy of two tenths of an inch at Billard Airport since midnight. But otherwise, temperatures rebounded nicely across the board. We are in the 70s for Northeast Kansas, 73 for Burlington as well as Holton right now. You're sitting at 74 for Emporia, and that's also the case in Cleveland. Center. But something that was a little bit more consistent earlier were the stronger winds, but they have started to relax in spots. Still got a bit of that western, even southwesterly component to it at about 5 to 15 miles per hour. But these winds will really start to subside later on tonight, and that's because we're getting further and further away from that cold front that pushed through. This is actually the low pressure center itself with the cold front draped along it, pushing into the Great Lakes region behind it. We have cleared out nicely. Satellite will show. Not even a cloud being picked up across northeast Kansas. But even though the rain is gone, does not mean the uh, threat for maybe some flooding has completely wiped out either. We're keeping a close eye on two spots. The first one being in Clay uh, Center as well as Clay County spanning into Morganville. This is due to the chance for some m minor flooding co coming out of the Republican River. We're also keeping a close eye on southern Marshall County. Now, this flood warning lasts all the way through late tomorrow night, the one for Clay County wraps up tomorrow morning. Now this does include Blue Rapids and this is due to the possibility of the big Blue River possibly going over its banks as well. But overall this is just a minor threat for some minor flooding out of this. But if you are within the vicinity of both of these areas, just keep a close eye as you're heading out and about throughout the weekend. For tonight, though, we stay nice and dry and quiet, calling for a low 52 degrees. Little to no cloud cover and light winds will help us cool off nicely. Some spots could even fall into the upper 40s for tonight. Breaking down tomorrow for you, though, will be a cooler start, waking up temperatures primarily in the 50s for the most part. But sunshine will be the dominating factor. And you couple that with southerly winds, not all too strong, just at about 5 to 10 miles per hour. And that'll help get us into the 70s and by your lunchtime plans. But we're looking at highs in the low 80s. But here's that look at our next rain chance. So we're talking for the start of your Monday, we'll start to see more cloud cover build in. But for the vast majority of your Monday during the daytime hours, will be dry, but the cloud cover starts to increase as day turns to night and we transition into Tuesday. That's when we're looking at more widespread soaking rain to return once again. A final look at your KSNT Storm Track 7 day forecast shows with that rain moving in. This is due to our next cold front. We go from the 70s on Monday and we may not even get out of the 50s come Tuesday with that rain wrapping up early. Temperatures rebound slightly as we get into the second half of the week, but even for next weekend, it looks like we'll be dealing with a few more showers in the mix once again.